Hello, welcome or welcome back to another episode of One Love, One Africa. Today I'm going to be talking about the special country of Malawi and the first female Ngoni chief. So as we have seen recently, the news coming out of Malawi is about Teresa. Malawi's first female Ngoni chief ends child marriages, breaking 850 child marriages in three years. She was elected in 2015, which is really, 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 really special. In 2015, saw the election of Chief Teresa Kachindamoto, I'm sorry if I'm butchering her name, to oversee more than 900,000 people. She has sent the girls back to school and revoked the marriage using her power. She has preserved in her goal despite opposition, you know, a lot of men, you know, thinking, oh, we should continue doing this. And she's like, no, this is not correct. Threats from some parents and customs, again, it's so sad. She has also advocated against sexual annotation ceremonies that pay young women and put young women at risk of HIV infection and maltreatment. She is a campaigner for Malawan girls' rights and a role model. Shout out to Teresa, you know, for speaking up for the African girl, for speaking up for the many um, Malawi girls who don't have a voice and don't have a way to speak out you know she has been helping so many children just be children you know as young as 10 years old you know you could be forced to marry someone or to serve sexually to a grown adult you know and I think this leads to us talking about you know uh just tradition you know African tradition you know sometimes it's really beneficial to upgrade You know, where are we in society? What do we believe in? Why are we still doing these things to our girls? Why are we still doing these things to our boys? You know what I'm saying? Kids as young as 10 should not be marrying a a freaking adult, you know? So we need to think about tradition. We need to look at our tribes. We need to look at the things that we accept and the things that we don't accept, you know? I think it's so funny when parents and people, you know, throw their opposition out there for things like this, you know, she's breaking child marriages, you know, again, it goes back to education, do we, are we really educating everybody in our continent, you know, because we shouldn't even be talking about these things, you know, I know it goes back to traditions and cultures and tribes, but we really need to educate ourselves, you know, and that goes back to our governments. Are we building schools in the right places? Are we educating people? Are we, you know, showing people um, the opportunities and how the world is thinking at these certain times, you know? Um, I think sometimes in our tribes, you know, you have one person who's educated and a lot who are not. And that goes goes back to old thinking and then it it's it's a deeper and a deeper and a deeper and a deeper hole but I just wanted to say oh my gosh I just wanted to say um shout out to Teresa um for being elected for standing up for the girls for being a feminist um just looking out for our young African girls because we need people who think like her. We need more, you know, African women in our parliaments, in our government, um in in our governments, in politics, um, so we can have things like this who are going to save so many children from having to be in these marriages, be in these situations, you know, it's time to, to save our kids, let's save our kids, um, from these old, old, old traditions, please, let's save our kids, you know, because they don't deserve this, those young girls should be young girls, should be playing outside, should be learning how to braid hair, you know, should be going to school instead of thinking, oh, when I turn 10, I'm gonna have to marry somebody, you know, that shouldn't be how 
that shouldn't be how we do things. So please applaud Teresa for what she's doing and saving so many Malawi girls and being a role model for many women out there. Um, so yeah, let's look out for our African girls. Let's pray for our African girls. You know, let's protect our African girls, you know. Let's educate ourselves so we don't continue to do these things, you know. <sighs> There's not only child marriages. There are sexual imitation ceremonies. Again, that just put our girls in so much risk, you know. Infections, STIs, maltreatment. It's just so much. It's just so much. So shout out to her for having a campaign, for sticking to her word, for helping young African girls to not be put in these situations anymore. It is 2023. Let's continue to pray and look out for our young African girls and our young African boys because they deserve to be children. All right. Anywho, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this? What are your thoughts about child marriages? Let me just hear your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.